I'm Chandler Johnson. This time, we'll take a look at how we can take a Facebook cover photo or profile picture and add it to an Adobe Muse website to where it will dynamically update depending on which profile on Facebook that you give it. This is very handy for different bio pages and it is fully compatible with any updates that you do on Facebook. It'll change no matter what you do. So let's take a look at Adobe Muse and let's go ahead and add in a new HTML frame. Let's pull it over to the side and grab in our code. The code has uh, two different layouts, one for profile pic pictures and one for cover photos. It also has some comprehensive instructions that you need to follow. Um, basically all that you need to do is you need to find your profile um, code at the top of your, pro your Facebook ID um, and you'll use that whenever you go through uh, to get the actual cover photo or profile picture that you wish to have. If you have more than one profile picture or cover photo, you will need to change um, some of the syntax on the code and we can just do a copy and replace on it later. So right here we'll go ahead and put in a new profile picture. We'll increase the size up to 400 by 400. We don't need to worry about any of that other stuff. If we wanted to make the picture a link to something else, we could change that link right there. But leaving that link there will keep it to where it'll, whenever our user clicks on it, they'll go to the Facebook uh, page. So we'll go ahead and rename the ending of uh, the code. That way we can have more than one um, of these profile pictures because I already have several on this page. We'll go ahead and paste it into the editor. And it should go ahead and give us a preview. There we are. Nice up to size and up to date. We can even rotate this if we wish whenever we uh, place it wherever we want. Just go ahead and put it over there and give this a quick preview. There we have it. So now you can go through here, add different Facebook photos to your um, Adobe Muse website. Um, the HTML frame, you can uh, use the layers tool to put it behind anything to make it, or if you wanted to, I don't know, just make some sort of nifty design thing where you have like this little pop up behind. Um, your body uh, of your page or something. Doesn't really look too good right here, but what the heck, at least it works and it links back to the uh, Facebook account um, as it's set up to right now. If we wanted to make it to where it would be a little bit smaller, we can go ahead and just change those widths and heights. Um, it'll redo the preview. The frame will still be big and so we can just resize the frame to whatever size we want. We did like 100 by 100 so we can just get it approximately to whatever that size uh, that size is. Go ahead and just pet a little bit over here. Give it a nice preview. And so from here we can resize our uh, photos just by using a little bit of the code and by editing in that, inside that HTML editor, which is the same thing as editing the code. And now I'm repeating myself. Thank you for watching.